Hi. Um, can I just find out who is there anybody here who took part last year? I think she's never done a triathlon before ever. So that's the majority of you. And when you turn up on the day um, as well, the majority of people that you've been surrounded by um, have never done triathlons before. Um, it's a growing sport and um, lots and lots of people are doing it for the first time. So don't be worried, don't be afraid, don't be scared. Um, you're, you're in the same boat as everybody else. Just to introduce um, then the IMG team who are here to ask questions later on um, and will be all involved in organising the event. Um, my name is Elisa Pettit, I'm the event director for the London Triathlon um, and have been for like, the last four years now. So um, if I can't answer a question about the London Triathlon, um, it's probably not worth knowing the answer to. Um, I know the event very well. Um, Alex Ward is our commercial director um, and works closely with PwC um, on getting you guys um, to the event. And Greg uh, Simonson is our senior sales executive as well, who's also here from IMG to answer any questions for you. Um, I think we're going to show you a video to start off with. Um, this is a bit to scare you, but just to show you what you've got yourselves involved in. Um, just to ease congestion up and down the hallways. 
um, and there will be uh, spaces down by uh, the stairwell where you can leave your bikes and kit while you send uh, one team member up. It can be your team captain or, um, or one other member of the team. Uh, so the timing for the 8th of uh, August, once you arrive, um, packet pickup will be between 11.15 uh, and 1 o'clock. Again, only send either your team captain or just one member of the team to go there. Um, South Gallery Room 7 is where you need to get to. Um, from 1 o'clock to 1.30, you'll be able to take all of your kit into transition um, and rack your bikes. And then 20 minutes before the wave starts, so your wave starts at 2 o'clock, but 20 minutes beforehand, your swimmer needs to be aiming to, to head to swim assembly with their wetsuit on, with their goggles, everything that they need. They'll get um, a last minute briefing um, before they go into the water, and then the wave will start at 2 o'clock. So on that morning, just make sure that you leave plenty of time to get there. Uh, we close quite a few of the roads, um, so the traffic can be quite congested. Um, and the last thing that you want to be doing when you're about to take part in a race is be rushing and, and sort of disorientated. So do leave plenty of time to arrive. Um, I know PWC will be organising a prize giving um, and a team photo session for afterwards, and I think more details will come to you um, about that later on. So, does anybody know the course that they're doing, the distances that they're doing? You should do before the 8th of uh, August. <coughs> Um, so it's an Olympic distance triathlon that you're taking part in. Uh, the swim is 1,500 metres, the bike is four, uh, 40 kilometres, and the run is 10 kilometres. There's different laps for the different elements of the event, so do make sure that you know how many laps you're doing, where your turn points are, um, and also which length you're doing. You don't want to turn up ready to do a swim when you're actually going to be doing the bike. So just be sure to prepare yourself with the information that we, we will be sending you. Um, we'll email you the race information booklet, um, or I think the PWC team will, uh, beforehand, and everything that you need to know, everything that I'm saying tonight, and more information will be in there for you. So do read it, and if you have any questions, you can ask that back to us. <coughs> so the swim. Um, I've already said once, arrive 20 minutes beforehand to swim assembly. Um, it's very important. You must have a wetsuit and goggles, both of those are compulsory to take part. Um, we will provide you with a swim hat, so you, you get given that when you arrive at swim assembly, but make sure you remember your wetsuit and your goggles. Most people are nervous about the swim, um, it's probably the most daunting part. Um, if you are nervous, we say just to stay to the back of the wave, um, and if you do need any help, you lay on your back and put your arm in the air. We have a full team of um, experienced kayakers um, and life support, so, um, sorry, lifesavers out on the water and they can come to you very, very quickly if you need them to. Um, you won't be penalised if you want to hang on to their boat for a little while and catch your breath and then carry on. We'd rather you did that and, and then carry on swimming rather than sort of stay in the water and panic. So if you do want um, help at any time, just raise your arm and they'll come over to you. This is what the swim looks like. So you'll come down uh, from the uh, inside of Excel down onto the dock edge and there's a pontoon in the bottom right hand corner that you walk down the gangways and lower yourself into the water. The exit is um, like getting out on the beach. There's a slope that you can swim up to, put your feet on, steady yourself and walk out. So it's not like a swimming pool where you need to haul yourself out of the water afterwards. You'll come onto the dock edge and you'll run through a sh swim shower and um, specific to the London Triathlon, you have to take your wetsuit off on the dock edge. We give you a wetsuit bag then you put your wetsuit in and then you'll be allowed to run up into transition. Um, we don't allow anybody to run into transition in their wetsuit because the water gets very slippery. So make sure you have something on. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> very, very important. Once you come back into transition, this is the sort of thing you're looking at. Um, the largest triathlon in the world has the largest transition in the world. Um, so make sure you know where you're going to be running to. Um, you will have gone with your team into transition before the race uh, to rack your bike and you know where you're meeting them. So just get familiar with, with where that position is and where you'll be running in from the swim into, uh, into the transition area. There's different signs on the wall. The end of the transition row is signed with PWC wave. So um, it, it, 
you should be able to find where you're going, but just take a minute to familiarise yourself um, with that. Which row you're in, uh, the name of the row, um, and where it is in relation to, to everything else in the hall. Um, so once the swimmer comes into transition, um, they need to hand over their timing chip to the cyclist. The timing chip is like a, uh, a relay baton, so you must hand it between each of the uh, team members. If you don't hand it over to the next one, you won't get a time for that particular leg, uh, and then you, that won't count. So make sure you hand that over. The cyclist should be in transition with their helmet on. Uh, the bike <coughs> acts, they'll put the timing chip around their ankle, and then they can unwrap their bike and run out of transition. You're not allowed to cycle within the building, so make sure you've left transition, you cross over the mat mat before you actually get onto your bikes. Um, and don't forget to wear, wear your race number. The cyclists and the runners must have race numbers. Our referees will send you back. So the bike leg um, is on closed roads, but we ask that you follow the rules of the road, so cycle on the left, overtake on the right. Um, but we, we close the roads uh, to traffic. Um, the BTF uh, rules stipulate a few uh, different um, things that sort of bikes need to comply to. Um, any normal bike is normally fine, um, but if you're having sort of tri racing bars, um, there's certain rules around those. Um, so just read the, the race information booklet, and um, that will that will explain everything to you. Um, a bike helmet is compulsory, so if you're cycling, make sure you do bring your bike helmet with you. Um, and there aren't any water stations on the bike, so make sure you come with enough fluids on, on your bike to, um, to, to get you through the 40 kilometres. Um, and make sure you count your own laps. You need to do four laps on, on the bike leg, so um, make sure you know how many you've done and do it. So the cyclist comes into transition, goes back to the transition row, racks their bike, takes the timing chip off and hands the timing chip to the runner, and then the runner can go off on the run. We have water stations on the run and maximum nutrition gels and baths, so there is um, sort of fluids and energies being handed out on the run. Um, we again say run on the left and overtake on the right, um, so that people can overtake you. Uh, no headphones while running, but there are um, charity cheering zones, we have some music playing, so there'll be enough entertainment. Um, we encourage <coughs> everybody to bring down spectators, um, their friends and family to cheer them on, um, so there's a lot going on, you'll get encouraged along the way. Again, count your own laps on the run, and um, hopefully, I'm praying for a really sunny day, you'll need sunglasses and sunscreen, so please bring those with you. Once you've done that, you'll cross the finish line, you'll be elated, happy that it's finally over. Um, you'll get water, some Erdinger, no alcohol beer, um, positive um, energy drink, and your finishes, finishes, finishes medal. Um, all three of you in the team get a medal each. Um, you can then go straight to transition, collect your, your equipment and um, celebrate that you've done a, a job well done. We also have an expo as part of the event, um, so there's lots of different exhibitors there selling anything related to uh, triathlon. Um, so have a wander around there, have a look. And then I think all that's left for me to say is good luck to everybody. Um, it's a fun event, it's an enjoyable event um, and you'll be yeah, celebrating this time.